Hello everyone and welcome to another Timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Gruel Prowess deck in Timeless format. So I wasn't actually going to do another video until the next set, but something in me was like, hey, what if we tried a Gruel Prowess with Jar Soul, Karmagoyf, and Questing Druid? And I was like, hey, that sounds really fun. So I decided to play some games and share it with you guys. So important cards to mention why Jarsal is so good in this deck is we have Abundant Harvest. And if you've never played Jarsal with Abundant Harvest, it is literally Jarsal's best friend. And especially considering that we are, this is a 17 land deck. So having something like Abundant Harvest makes it very easy to get your land drops. And if you're in need of a spell, just pick a non-land card. And you can do that again with Jarsal in the future turn. So Abundant Harvest, absolutely insane with Jarsal. And we're also playing four copies of Questing Druid as well. So with these three cards, you should have a no problem having a good set of cards in your hand and basically using that build up a sizable board and then you crash through and just kind of win the game giving all your creatures trample uh, by the way you could also get crash through with jarsal as well so that's also pretty cool so i'm pretty excited to try this deck out and having said that i'll be hopping over to some timeless vessel 3 to show you guys how the deck does so let's open over Ooh. Could be a very fast Dragon Rage Chandler flip. Uh, land, artifact, instant speed. So, like, potentially, if we get, like, a creature, it'd be nice. Okay, so that does it, right? But I can cast this next turn. Okay, I I'm gonna cast it next turn. So I'll go Swift Spear, Crash Through, Crack. Harvest. Fine. I wasn't actually able to flip the Dragon Ray Chandler here. But it worked out. Seems like this is a Death Shadow. This is probably our one of the better matchups. So this could be a spell pierce, right? Yep, it looks like it's a spell pierce. So we know the other car is a spell pierce. Should I still attack? Maybe like we don't care about that shadow. So this is going to grow into so let's let's say I bolt that shadow. They spell pierce. Um They lose two life, so this is going to grow into a 3-3. Three, three. So it, it, it's still the same outcome. So I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to wait. Like, why play into Spell Pierce? I have a lot of damage. They have to answer Dragon Rage Chandler.
Okay, so no drown in the lock. No drown in the lock confirmed. Scourge. That doesn't really scare me. Oh, it's a stubborn denial. Huh. I did not expect that. It was a stubborn denial. I thought it was a spell pierced the whole time. Interesting. Don't I, don't I just win? I don't really have a burn spell though. And I don't, I don't really want a cyborg in Rolling Vortexes. Like it hits our Charcel and Mishra's Bobble. Fine. Let's just go. Hmm... Okay, we'll, we'll get a fat Tarmogoyf. This Tarmogoyf is already a 3-4, which is nice. Hmm. I think I might, I might just uh, crash through. Abundant Harvest. Short. So it's not a fatal push, but it's stubborn denial. It's a stubborn denial. So we know that they don't have a fatal push in their hand. Because they decided not to use it last turn. They also didn't uh, decide to use um, a bolt last turn, so they just drew it. So currently they don't they don't have a removal spell other than a stubborn denial. Which is awesome. Um so here, I'll grab a land. Oh, it's a tap land. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Double Dragon Ray Chowler. Okay. Um Let's kill that. Stubborn Denials.
But let's say attack with both of them. They don't block with the Bowmaster. They have lethal in the air. Guess I do have to... What's in the graveyard? Let's actually pass a turn. What a top deck. What a top deck. And maybe it will draw like I don't know. I don't I don't think even like double bolt does it, right? Hmm. Spell pierce, stubborn denial, bolt, uh push, triple rage uh dragon rage challenger. That was pretty good. What if I take out the baubles? For like rolling vortex, ah, the the top deck fatal push. I think we would have been able to stay alive if it wasn't for top deck fatal push. Sometimes it is what it is. I could also crack this next turn. I think that's actually better. We'll crack it next turn. Stomping ground. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to just pass a turn with the uh, ease up. And if they have a fatal push, like, I don't want my Tarmogoyf to get, um, in getting killed anyways. Yeah, this is a way better outcome, right? So we get to surveil with this. Bobble? I think at this stage, Bobble is really bad because they have two mana. Questing Druid. We'll shock it in. Probably a bowmaster, right? Grabbing swamp. Really? Scourge. So what are we missing? Okay, so if we just play a bolt... We can kill the Scourge here. Okay, that's really good. We got rid of uh, 
two threats here. And we'll just, um... Unholy Heat. Attack with the Goyf. And we'll Questing Druid. Exile the top two cards of your deck until your next end step. Until my next end step. So if, if I cast this... Now, does that work? It, did I already, like... Like, I don't... Does, does that work? I wonder. Like, I wasn't completely sure. Do they have another Stubborn Denial? I wonder. Bell Pierce. I wonder if I'm actually supposed to grab a Monastery Swift Spear. Um, I think I think we're actually supposed to kill the Bowmaster because we have a crash through. Let's just crash through now. Nice. Well, if they can't kill Jarsoul, this is going to be a problem for our opponent here. Questing Druid or another Tarmogoyf? Let's draw a bunch of cards. Okay, that really sucked. That actually really, really sucked. I attack this becomes a I, th I think we just um not attack and potentially fetch a giganta to our hand I mean that's two cards that could have been in the dumpster Well, now that they've shocked, I think we just attack because they go to really low life if they get hit. And we play the Questing Druid into Dragon Ray Channeler. I think our Jarsoul has done its job. We can just block with it if they attack the shadow. Um, so they go to seven. Block, block. They take five. Which isn't good. So we just attack with the Dragon Ray Chandler. And pass the turn. I mean, literally a Breeze could kill them. Literally a Breeze could kill them. At this moment. Like, even a Crash Through kills them, right? Right? 
they have a removal spell for this Dragon Rage Challenger if they did this? Pretty annoying. I see, so they don't have a removal spell. I think I win. So they, they'd have to counter this. They'd have to counter this, which doesn't feel good. Yeah, that's funny. Wow, they played Teamer Battle Rage. Okay, they got me. Okay, good first game. Good first game. That was pretty cool. Nice. Swamp Deathrite Shaman. Land was actually really, really perfect. Because now I can go Molten Impact. And if they play something, we can Lightning Bolt in response. Otherwise, we can just play Tarmogoyf. Okay, so we can harvest, kill the shaman, grab a land, hold up a bolt for Jarsal. Fable. Hmm. So there's actually a, um, a reason to hold this on, on my turn so these get buffed. But I'm not confident in drawing a land because I want to play Tarmogoyf next turn. Nice. They could flash in a Bowmaster, but I mean, I have Bolt, so. Okay, this probably means that means that they have a Minx Gamboo. Potentially. Tarmogoy. Okay. They didn't flash in their Orcish Bowmaster last turn. But they could still have it. There's a good chance they might still have it. So let's see what they do. Is it a Bowmaster? Okay. They're drawing a Bowmaster. 
Wow, what a draw. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've got one butt kicking foot, so everyone form a line. Our heroic saga comes to Do they have to chump block the Tarmogoyf? Ooh. Actually, go big, just go big. And they get to copy with the reflection of Kikijiki for one turn here, which is pretty good. A questing druid is like a basically a must. Wow, they passed. I don't think I would have done that. I would have definitely killed something because now you have to worry about prowess, right? So if I play the questing druid, it's gonna die, which is unfortunate. So I think I'm just going to harvest now. Um, I'll grab a non-land, please. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so it does work as I thought. Lot of lands, lot of lands. Uh, we're playing a 16 land deck, so... A little bit unfortunate, I must say. A little bit unfortunate. Crash through. Um... That might actually still kill them. Two, three, four, five. No, it won't. But I'll keep attacking with the Tarmogoyf. Hmm, interesting. Where could my Molten Impact, two copies of Unholy Heat, and three copies of Lightning Bolt be? Yeah, currently, if I crack this, there's only seven lands remaining. And we haven't even gone through half our deck. That's a lot of Fable. I think next turn, I crash th through no matter what. There was another land on top. Okay, so let's do this first. We got an Unholy Heat. Absolutely amazing. We'll swip spear, and then we'll crash through and kill the orcish bowmaster in response. So they'll have they'll have a two, four, five, five toughness. If they copy the bowmaster in response, and we'll have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 damage trample. I think that's uh, good enough, right? We have exactly 4 mana, so I don't see why not casting this. A 
everything will have trample here. Nice! Okay, so let's bring some Pitting Needles versus... Um... Deathray Shaman. Ming Skimbu. And Reflection of Kikijiki. Seems good. And pick your Poison. Versus Kikijiki. And I think that's it. Should I even bring this? Maybe not. Bring a copy of Shove Aside. Let's go down on two copies of Mistress Bauble and a copy of a Soul Scar Mage. Actually, let's go down on a copy of a Crash Through, even though it won us the game. <laughs> no lands galore. I wonder if I can keep this. I don't think I can. We're on the draw. We have a question Druid. If we just get one land, it might work out. Okay, very nice. So we're just looking for lands right now. Very nice. Opponent's also missing a black source. They're missing a black source. Seems like they have a fatal um of lightning bolt though. Okay, so now this one grows to uh a, a three four. Very nice. Attack. Abundant Harvest. Fantastic. Play another Tarmogoyf. Insane. Okay, I will say we got a little bit lucky on the last game. I did keep a pretty risky hand, but... I mean, even then, like... Let's say I didn't draw a bubble. I drop... Um, a Soul Scar Mage, turn two, we didn't find the land, right? Because we only found the land because we Mistress Bubbled. Turn two, we play another one drop, right? Since we had Dragon Rage Chandler into a Swift Sphere. And then we would have drawn a land, so I, I think we would have still been fine. <laughs> no, thank you. You know, it's, it's crazy that this deck... Even though we're playing a 16 land, a 17 land deck, we're actually like doing really well. I think we have to shock. I don't want to give them a free death ray shaman. Since I want to play Tarmogoyf next turn. I think you have to get rid of a Questing Druid. Is this another Jund? I guess so. I guess so. We are drawing a lot of lands, which is something I do not appreciate.
What are we missing? Creature, artifact, land. I guess, I guess an instant speed. Lightning Bolt is already going in there, so... Okay. Castle Lockwain. So greedy. So greedy. Should I lay the questing druid here into an open mana? I don't think I can afford to because let's say I questing druid, they bowmaster, they kill it. Then I ha I'm forced to respond with an unholy heat so that I, I save the questing druid. But then next turn they get to play Minx and Boo, so I don't I don't think it's a smart idea casting this questing druid. Death Right Shaman. So this is a bowmaster plus a bolt or a fatal push. Man, so many lands. So many lands. Kind of messed up there. I should have actually used this one to fetch. Because I needed the wooded foothill to grab a forest. Not the most amazing plays there. So I think opponent has like a Minx Gimbu for sure. Like a for sure for sure. I think I'm just going to play these out. Because I don't want to play these into... A Bowmaster. It's a little bit of an awkward game. Because I have to hold up this Unholy Heat no matter what, since we flooded. We don't have uh, any other like instant speed removals. Come to think of it, opponent is at... Um, 9 life. Yep, there's that Minx Gimbu. We know, we knew this was gonna happen. Crash through. No, thank you. Tragedy befalls us, boo. Bigger is always, always better. I wonder if they have a bolt, but they still haven't used it on. Dragon Rage. I, I guess I should just make it a little bit awkward for them. They do have a Death Ray Shaman at the moment, but if they have a Bolt, they might actually have to use it on Jarsoul. Means that um, our Dragon Rage Chandler is safe. Okay, seems like they don't have it. Nope. Attacking with the Swift Spear means that... I mean, I just kill one Bowmaster, right? They just block with these two to tokens. I don't think it's that good. Okay, they surrender. Okay, so apparently everybody's playing Jund. Same sideboarding. As last time. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. How good is a... Um, how good is a hearse? Against our deck? Like, potentially good. Oh, I'll try this. 
<laughs> it's a pretty slow hand, isn't it? But I don't really want to mulligan against their deck. I think it's a pretty bad idea. They have a lot of discard spells. And three lands for like having getting a three lands in the beginning is actually pretty relevant as well. Okay, I guess we just pass with the questing druid up. Since this is a bow bowmaster, I can't just uh, play our channeler into harvest. Hope they don't have Mexican boo here. Perilous iteration. They have a fatal push. Pitting Needle. So I think I have to actually Pitting Needle here. Call Minx Gimbu. I think I have to um, Questing Druid again. I need to find removal spells basically. Like in the... Like, probably the best thing to find at the moment is Molten Impact. Look at all these, like, look at all these small creatures they have. We will break Eda's bones. Unless it's boneless, he will never rinse. Because it's tiny. Okay, finally they tapped out. We need to find removal spells stats. Like now. Okay, we didn't find them. Unfortunate. Where could they be? Where could they be? I'm not sure if I'm... If I can attack. They ha they showed that they had a fatal push last turn, so... I need to, like, preserve my life total at the moment. Magic? <laughs> we have Ooh, they have a... Fatal push into... Hmm. Really getting punished here for not using unlicensed hers. But next turn for sure. Next turn for sure. Do we have a sorcery? We don't. Do we just want to play another questing druid? <laughs> Maybe. And eh, let's just play a Tarmogoyf. Good blocker. Good blocker. Yeah, unfortunately, I actually have to let this go. We will stomp out evil. Also, I need to kill that right shaman. Roxa? Say what now? Good thing I brought unlicensed hers. Like, wow. That would have been hideously bad.
So unfortunately, we st still haven't seen a single removal spell. Isn't that a little bit rough? I'll take Molten Impact. Man, unlicensed first. What a card. Okay. Um. So, let's play Questing Druid. Into a Channeler. Into a Harvest. Right now, I can't quite attack through this, uh, this defense here. What if I just play another Dragon Ray Chandler? And then just Abundant Harvest next turn? I mean, that's probably not a bad idea, actually. It's also growing a uh, Questing Druid as well. So yeah, this uh, Minx Gambu, quite annoying because... Even though it got Pitting Needle, they have infinite blockers. Yeah, I still like top our top 20 cars were zero removal spells, so it's a little bit rough. A little bit rough. I, I did keep a pretty fishy hand though, to be fair. Look at us. We are tough. A cause like what a draw. What a freaking draw there. Okay, um sorcery, instant speed, sorcery. The funny thing is, if I start exiling with this unlicensed hers. It's going to make our Tarma Wave smaller, so I, I think I actually don't exile anything. Lightning Bolt. That is huge. Let's harvest first. Nope. Uh, I don't want to draw another Dragon Rage Howler. No, then please. Where? Where's our removal spells? Okay, so... Let's get rid of a Shaman, because it's pretty annoying. Bobble? Nope. Swift Spear? Nope. Nice. Nice. The power of Questing Druid. What is this card? Okay, so... Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to actually do a video today. A uh, video until the next set came out. But I really wanted to try this. Because we haven't quite tried something like this yet. Um, if you don't have Jarsoul. And you don't want to craft this card. Especially with all the cool cards coming out. Next set. You can play... You can play Breach instead. But I'm not sure if there's actually a replacement for Molten Impact. But you, I mean, you could just play Shock, uh, play with Fire. Yeah, we don't really have something like Lava Spike in this format, huh? Like, that's, that would be so good. What a good addition Lava Spike would be. But yeah, unfortunately, no Lava Spikes. Um, I mean, you can play any two damage removal spells if you want. I really recommend the Molten Impact because this thing deals with a lot of things that a pure red deck would not be able to. Like for example, opponent plays a Ragavan, you Molten Impact, so now you have 3 excess damage and they play a Kavu, you can Lightning Bolt it and then kill it using the, the Molten Impact's excess damage. You could also, you know, like if they play Deathrite Shaman, a Deathrite Shaman also works the same way, right? This is a pretty incredible card. If you haven't played with it, I recommend it a lot. Um, but yeah, Jarsoul is definitely replaceable with the Breach. Like if you had Breach here, 
I think it would have been actually um, a pretty nice deck as well. You could play Loris instead of Giganta, but you have to have a really bad mana base, which could get hit by the Blood Moon. And also, you might not be able to pl play Blood Moon in the sideboard as well. So there, there's definitely a trade-off. But besides that, um, I've added a Pick Your Poison for situations like uh, versus a uh, Show and Tell. Like if you put a Rolling Vortex onto the battlefield, and then they play a, they put an Aatrox down. Pick Your Poison could deal with that. But if they put an Omniscience down and you put an Rolling Vortex down, they'd have to pass the turn because they can't play any cards. And then you pick your poison and sacrifice the enchantment. So the, the two pick your poison and rolling vortexes are for that matter. Um, sometimes pick your poison is actually pretty good against Jund as well. Sometimes. Um, crash through. Definitely didn't really expect this to actually be good. But it was. Um, e even if they have a, a bowmaster on the battlefield, it's, it's fine because you can crash through and then just win the game with your prowess creatures and Tarmogoyf. Like, Tarmogoyf getting a trample crash through is pretty relevant. Um, alternatively, what you could play instead of crash through, if you don't like crash through, you could play Monstrous Rage as well. Like, this is pretty fast clock. Like, just imagine putting a Monstrous Rage onto Tarmogoyf. It's pretty insane, but... Obviously, um, this doesn't draw your card, and in a 17 land deck, it could be a little bit, you know, it could be a little bit scary. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do a video, but something in me was like, hey, what if we try Gruel Prowess and Timeless with Jarsoul, Tarmogoyf, and Questing Druid? And yeah, it was really fun. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video support, if you did, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.